Hello everyone, our today's game is of Gary Kasparov which he played in Barcelona, Spain in 1989 or it's the game of World Cup. Uh, in this game Gary Kasparov faced Jonathan Spielman, an English Grandmaster and let's just check out this fantastic game. Gary opens with D4, we have D6, E4, the pitch defense, so we have G6. Uh, Spielfen going for the modern defense. We have c4, e5, knight to f3, and here we have just e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop g7 attacking the knight. We have knight to c3, knight c6, bishop e3, knight g goes to e7, h4, s6, bishop e2. Continuing development from each side, f5. We have e takes f5, knight takes f5 and as you can see the now knight has been attacked right so Gary has to decide what he has to do with this knight. He goes for knight takes f5, bishop takes f5, queen d2, queen d7 and now maybe both sides can cast a long side also opening and king's movement. We have castles by Gary, short side and here just Spielfen also castles but long side. So we have b4, uh, Gary just start marching these pawns over the king side to just play this and here Gary just give up a pawn, uh, Spielfen just accepts this pawn sacrifice with knight takes b4, here we have knight b5. And now actually if you just capture with this rook, you capture then you have first you will lose this, first comes the check then you lose your knight and after just you will lose two pieces for the rook so Spielfen first goes for knight c2 he attacks the bishop thrice and now this rook has been attacked twice so but here just carry not goes and he finds a very absolute best winning move so I will say you to please free pause the video and find that move for Gary he do not save his rook he goes for bishop to f3 which is just very nice move because now if you just go for suppose knight takes a1 then you comes with the knight takes a7 check say king to b8 then comes this knight c6 check and you just can't capture it with this queen as the bishop guards the knight and say if you capture with the b pawn then comes this queen b4 check uh, if king goes to suppose c8 then we have this bishop a7 and now there is no defense to this checkmate on b8 square so you can't just go from this and suppose if you move the king to a8 square then first just this queen a4 check and now also the king is goes to b8 square suppose then just comes this queen a7 check king c8 fourth and just queen a8 will be made and if you just move your king to this uh, b7 square then also the same sequence force you can go on and so you can uh, as you can see this pawn is the spin you move it king a7 check king c8 force and again queen a8 check so was that uh, Jonathan do not take this rook right now he goes for first d5 he blocks the bishops diagonal over here but now just Gary accept this pawn with bishop takes d5 and now Jonathan just blunders he uh, maybe just greedy he goes for knight x1 but now it's just game over well actually if you go for a move like c6 but then uh, you just try to fox both the pieces but actually it's not because after knight x7 check king has to move and just move. then also the same sequence knight x6 check and again all the same pattern will be arising this queen will be coming to b4 with this monster bishop now there is also possibility that sometimes maybe this rook can come over here if the king tries to escape so uh, we have knight x7 was played and here just gary goes for knight x7 check king b forced and now just queen to b4 not going for that check as the king can move over there and just in the night and now as you can see the threat is just not c2 here we are hey Jonathan just think here for 45 minutes and then he
uh, decides to sacrifice the queen he goes for queen takes d5 he sacrifices this monster bishop over here Gary accepts the queen sacrifice happily he goes for c takes d5 and now just knight to c2 Jonathan's planning is quite correct he wants to just eliminate this dark square bishop as it's a fork over the queen and bishop so here Gary first saves the queen to a5 square and now just Jonathan eliminates the monster bishop with knight takes e3 f takes e3 and now rook h goes to e8 by Jonathan now just we have knight b5 and now you can't defend both the checks coming to a7 and c7 so Jonathan goes for rook takes d5 try to pin the knight but actually it's not because this has came over so I will say you to please feel free to pause the video and find the best move for Gary. Ready? The best move from here is going to c7 check. King a8 was played, the forced move and after quick a5 check, Jonathan resigned the game. The reason of resignation is that after king b8 it's forced, you have queen a7 check, king has to move to c8, then just queen a8 check, king d7, queen takes b7 check. Uh, if you goes for just king c e6 then comes queen c6 check and now if you just try to defend this rook then this rook will be just hanging and if you just move over here then this rook will be hanging so suppose we goes to find more x king squares we goes for suppose king e5 then just captures say we just block it with bishop but then just queen back to c6 and now Quite very threats. Uh, suppose uh, you go for a move like bishop d7, try to attack the queen and the knight, but then you have just queen c3 check. King has to move to e6 square, but then just queen cap just g6. And if say you capture with the bishop, try to attack the rook, but then just comes with this queen f6 check, king d7 forced, queen f7 check has to move to c6 square then comes this rook f6 check king c5 and after queen c7 check you can't just block it with the bishop as the rook cards over here with a checkmate so king b4 will be forced but then comes this rook f4 check king a3 and now after queen c3 check it's forced to capture the pawn but then just it's mate in 3 because the rook f2 check king b1 Queen e1 check and now you it's forced to block it with the rook. Uh, rook to d1 and after queen takes d1 it will just check it. So was that on this queen a5 check that Jonathan has resigned the game and from this game we have just learned that the uh, move like as you can see over here this pawns over that is inside are just over here as this h pawn protects both the pawns not to move over here and just uh, Jonathan attacks what never on Gary and it's just the game from Gary from starting as after that b4 move you opened a file on the b open and that was just really for that so hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video please subscribe my channel I will be waiting for your comments and please leave a like thank you and bye for now